Hey everybody, Coach Ryan with Dupra Power Skating. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about forward boot flexion and how you wear your shinnies out on the ice. Coming up next. Hey everybody, Coach Ryan here, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about forward ankle flexion and how you wear your hockey skate and how you wear your shin guards. I don't feel this point is stressed and talked about enough, and it can make a huge difference in your speed, your elusiveness, and your agility. So first, we're just talking about your skate. The way skates are made these days are so rigid, right? Compared to back when I played, they are almost like a ski boot. They're so stiff and allowing you to get more performance. But if you're not thinking through it correctly, you can actually take away your forward ankle flexion, right? Which is how your ankle flexes forward inside the boot, creating your knee bend, allowing you to get deeper into your strides, which we all know equals more power and a longer stride out on the ice. And we all know a longer, more powerful stride with you pushing on more steel and more ice makes you a faster skater. So let's talk about the boot specifically. So here, for example, I've got a Bauer Vapor. And you can see the outside, these composite boots, they're very, very rigid, right? Depending on how tight you lace your skates up at the ankle alone can directly impact your body's forward lean, which you need. I'm not talking about a deep, deep lean where you're bent over at the waist like a speed skater because that can be detrimental to your speed and it can put the weight off your edges. We want to keep all of that weight on every edge and every push while you're in that deep, deep knee bend, but you still need some forward lean, right, to keep propelling your body up the ice. With that being said, ankle flexion with some players, and I know because I used to like my skates really tight, but back in the day when you had a leather boot, you got the flexibility out of the boot. Now when these boots aren't flexing and you're a player that laces them up so tight at the top, it's going to be hard for you to flex your shin, right, forward, get, getting that knee bend, it's going to keep you more upright and it's going to take away from your forward lean. So the first thing that I would tell you to look at is obviously your ankle strength, right? So a lot of players that don't feel control of their ankles and feel like they have a communication with their ankle, like I always say, I've got the right side, that's my strong dominant side, and then I have my left, which has always been the slow kid in math class, still trying to figure it out, still lagging behind a little bit, so I go a little bit tighter on my left boot. But I don't wanna go so tight that I take away all of my ankle's flexibility and my ability to shift my weight out on the ice, especially the forward ankle flexion and also my inside and my outside edges. Now enter the shin guard, right? The two most popular ways these days to wear your shin guard is either out a little bit longer shin guard out over the tongue, right? Or the tongue really flapped out with a little bit shorter shin guard and you wear them inside. Every player has a different feel and experience. Everybody prefers a little bit different feel. So if you're somebody that goes outside the shin guard, I want you to think about this. Let's say that you've already strapped your, your boots on, right? And your skates are on there real tight and you like it super tight at the ankle. Part A, limiting your forward flexibility. Then you're somebody that wears your shin guard outside your boot. And when you strap it down, probably take clear tape and you wrap around there so tight, it is really difficult for you to get any of that knee bend and forward ankle flex without trying to lean your whole body. Now we want some forward body lean, but if this ain't moving, then we're not getting that knee bend 
that puts you into your hip knee bend and your hip flexibility. So you can see the problem there. So I would definitely urge you to take a look at how tight and how long, where's the point of contact with your shin guard and how tight you are taping it. Now, same thing goes for inside the tongue. If you're somebody that goes really tight at the ankle with your skate and your tongue is barely out, now you have your shin guard shoved down in there, also making contact and it can limit your forward ankle flexion. So I would look at one of two things. Number one, obviously with both situations, and I've done both. I've been a player that's worn my shin guards inside. I've been a player that's worn my shin guard outside. Now, when I was inside, it was a little bit shorter shin guard, but when it was outside, it was just kind of standard length. Right? I didn't even go longer, but what I did when I taped it was I didn't tape it, you know, kung fu grip tight in there. I actually loosely taped it around to hold my boot, but to also give me some movement so I could get all of that ankle flexibility and definitely that forward ankle flexion in my boot. Okay, well, what do I do now, coach? Because I've always been wearing my boots like that, and that's the way I like them to feel. This is all just advice, take it or leave it, right? This can improve your forward ankle flexion and help you generate more speed, get into a deeper knee bend, and that could be the trade-off that you've been needing. The other thing is you could start focusing on ankle communication, control, right, and ankle strength. And if you look at the links down below, you'll find my video on ankle drills for hockey players. Start strengthening your ankle. Start communicating with the slow kid in math class and improve its ability to keep up with your dominant side. Do things off ice that will strengthen and improve your ankles in the boot on ice that will give you a little bit more flexibility. It will definitely improve your skating ability and your edge work, your inside and your outside edges and it'll give you that forward ankle flexion that will not only help in small areas, but also help you in your full out open ice breakaway speed. Well, that's it for this episode of Depra Power Skating. I hope you enjoyed it. And just like number 99, I hope you have a great one. We'll see you next time.